Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about welding metals that are different thicknesses. Um, we could use MIG, we're going to use stick. So uh, we're going to talk about prep, we're going to talk about rod angle. Do, which, do you set it for the, the thinner amperage or a thicker amperage, higher, lower, what do you what do? You do? So um, what we're doing today is we have a couple hooks here on this bucket, um, but we want to be able to mount a clevis in the middle. And I think instead of going on the outside, if we hook a strap or a chain to it and we're pulling, um, I think I'll put it on the inside of the bucket here in hopes that if something breaks, it'll, the chain or, or strap would come back and hit the bucket as opposed to hit the operator. So um, we're going to find center. We're going to clean off the paint. We're going to mount it right here in the middle <clears throat> uh, and kind of bring you guys through the process and show you the prep and how to weld and how to hold the rod angle and how to set up the machine. Let's bring it in closer. All right, so this bucket inside to inside is 61 inches wide. So we marked it at 30 and a half, and I'm gonna roughly clean off the paint in an area that large, a little bit larger than where I need to weld. All right, so don't ever use a cutoff wheel, you can use a grinding wheel, a flat disc is probably best, but we have a grinding wheel here, so we're gonna clean it off of that. If you are going to be MIG welding, uh, you're probably going to want to get it a lot cleaner than if you're stick welding. Um, I don't know if we're going to use 6013 or 6018. We'll probably be fine with 6018. This is all pretty thin here. Um, we'll try to get that set. And if we can, I'm going to try to tilt this bucket one more time and see if we can't get it level so we can kind of see what we're doing a little better. Okay, so it's going to be too hard to get the bucket to balance, so we're going to just weld it like this. Now, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to show you right here in terms of rod angle. Now, this is obviously quite thick, and this is probably, I don't know, 11 gauge maybe, 10 gauge probably. It's, it's significantly thinner than this. So the question is, if you set it thick, thick enough to get good penetration here in terms of enough amperage, you're going to burn right through here. So there's a couple things you can do. I tend to go as hot as I possibly can, and normally you'd bisect this angle that you want to weld in, okay? Now, if you tip up, that puts more of the heat down. If you'll get it with a lower angle and try to keep more on the thicker piece, most of that heat will be concentrated in the thick piece and you shouldn't penetrate too, too much into the bottom, hopefully not enough to burn through. So we're uh, using 8th inch 718. We're gonna set it at about 130, 135 amps, burning pretty hot. Um, and we're gonna really lean heavily angle-wise towards this clevis bracket. Okay, let's get started. All right. Tack it off on that side. Now sometimes on these 7018s you get a ball of slag on the end, so it's gonna be hard to start. All right, we have her tacked all the way around. Now we're gonna work our way up. Well, I'm already working our way up this side. We're gonna work our way up that side. Structurally, you're supposed to go from the bottom up, but we could go from the top down. I don't, I don't think it affect this too much. All right, so we ran it right up that side. When you're going vertical, it's important to kind of keep the rod moving. Don't dwell in one spot too much. 
All right, we got it welded all around there. Now what we want to do, we want to take, we're going to clean it all up and paint it. So we'll get a wire brush, get a slag hammer, get some of that slag off there and spray it. All right, I wanted to show you guys, we got good penetration here around on the front side. Um, this was far too close to the back of the bucket. I couldn't get an electrode back there to weld the back side of it. Um, so we'll see how that does. If it looks like there's an issue, I may have to go at, try it again, give it another swirl, see if I can't hit the back. But I uh, want to show you guys good penetration. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to sand this and paint this. Um, I've already sprayed the inside. We're going to spray this outside. I'll show it to you guys when we're done. Trying to feather out the edges here a little bit. This is a bucket, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we're gonna be using it. It's gonna get dirty and scratched up. I just don't want it to rust. Probably put a few coats on here. Clean up paint can. All right. Enough. I'll show you guys around on the inside. In the shaded, we got our clevis welded in. Got our hooks for straps on the outside. So once again, the biggest thing is for welding metals of, of dissimilar thicknesses, you're just gonna have to angle that electrode more towards the thicker one than the thinner, and it should be fine. I, I tend not to turn down the amperage at all. Leave it high, you wanna burn into that uh, thick piece really well. All right, good luck.